in this video we are going to see how to apply kcl in a circuit where only voltage source is present between two non reference nodes so here is the problem we are supposed to get a current flowing through four ohm resistor using nodal analysis so let's mark all the nodes first so 1 2 3 and 4 next step we have to mark a reference reference is given by them so this is a symbol for a reference or a ground you can say with the potential zero so this node is a reference node so this will become node 1 node 2 and node 3 let's mark all branch currents so i'll select current action randomly so no current source is present so here we are free to mark any random current directions so i have marked all the current directions randomly now let's apply kcl equations to all the nodes the problem with the node 1 and node 2 is that only voltage source is present between them no resistor hence we cannot apply kcl individually let's go to node 3 directly then so apply kcl at node 3 which is free from all this problems of voltage source present between the two nodes three branches are meeting out of that two are incoming one is outgoing so let's write the equation for this 4 ohm which is nothing but v2 minus v3 upon 4 one more incoming current is this started at v1 ending on v3 resistance is 2 ohm and only outgoing branch is this v3 minus 0 upon 6 a straightforward equation will get after simplifying v1 coefficient is 1 by 2 v2 coefficient is 1 by 4 and if i take v3 on this side i will get v3 coefficients as minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 already present and this will go on this side becomes minus 1 by 6 equal to 0 as equation number 1 three nodes are there so three equations we should get now this is a voltage source so voltage source equation we need to write so we'll write it under equation of voltage source so i will take out this voltage source out of the circuit negative is connected to second node and positive to first node so this implies a simple equation as v1 minus v2 equal to 10 as equation number 2 we have to get one more equation which we can obtain by applying kcl to super node which is a combination of node 1 and node 2 now we'll focus on node 1 first and at the node 1 we'll focus only on the incoming currents remember we have to neglect this branch so if i neglected this branch i will get only two branches and the current directions that i have marked for these two branches are outgoing for v1 hence no incoming current at node 1 similarly i'll go to the node 2 for checking of 
any incoming current present. So this is incoming current and this incoming current has started at the point of reference. So I'll add this incoming current with the incoming current of node 1. So it started with a reference ending on V2. In the current direction, there is a voltage source changing its polarity from plus to minus, that is the voltage drop, hence minus sign, the value is 20. Upon register of that branch, it's 10 ohm. So incoming current of node 2, I have noted down for node 1. There was no incoming current, so 0. Let's write outgoing currents now. For node 1, this is outgoing current. So V1 minus V3 upon 2 plus this is also outgoing current V1 ending on reference in the current direction minus 2 plus is the voltage which is the voltage rise. So plus 15 resistance that branch is 8 ohm. Now for this node node number 2 the outgoing current is v2 minus v3 divided by 4 so over here after simplifying i will get one more equation which is required for solving this problem so if i simplify this let's take all v1 terms together here 1 by 2 here 1 by 8 Then for V2, here it is 1 by 4 already present. Now, if I take this term on this side, I will get one more coefficient that is 1 by 10. So we got uh, two coefficients for V2 and for V3, we have minus 1 by 2 and here minus 1 by 4 so let's count all the coefficients so basically there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 terms so 2 for v1 2 for v2 and 2 for v3 so all the coefficients we have taken in the equation and right hand side is all about the constant so what we will do over here 15 by 8 will go that side and that will add it in a negative sign with this minus 2 minus 20 by 10 is minus 2 and this 15 by 8 will go that side becomes minus 15 by 8 equation number 3 so this we need to do uh, with utmost care so ultimately what we get equations are this which are 3 in number and the variables are also 3 in number after solving we will get the value of node voltages v1 v2 and v3 so upon solving we will get the values of node voltages v1 v2 v3 as v1 will get as minus 6.6981 volt V2 is minus 16.6981 volt and V3 is minus 8.2075 volt. What we have to get? Current through 4 ohm. So current through 4 ohm, I4 ohm is nothing but this current which is V2 minus V3 upon 4. If you substitute all the values, we will get I4 ohm as minus 2.1227 ampere. So minus implies whatever the current action we have marked need to be reversed. So finally, I4 ohm is 2.1227 ampere and the direction will be reverse so it will be like this
So here we have solved a problem where a voltage source is present between two non-reference nodes. Then there is a concept called as super node analysis we are supposed to use to get the answer. Thank you.